What is up guys? We're back here again today for another episode. Today we have the legend Justin Lee with us today. You've seen I don't him know on about a legend. But <laughs> you've seen him on a couple of my videos already. Justin, what are we doing today? We are Three Frog yeah! We're looking for little fish, little coles. Uh size of a hand is a good size one. But uh That's a big one? That's a big one. I don't know if they get that big here. <laughs> I thought I was picturing like size of palm. We're gonna spear a little bit more than we thought we were gonna have to spear. But uh, you know, out here, the, the Hawaiian potato chip. And uh, just the quintessential part of, uh, of barbecues and first birthdays and, and painas or parties. And uh, a friend of mine asks um, to get him some kole for a wedding. So that's what we're out here for. Justin says we need about 50 good sized kole today for this wedding. That's the goal. I have never used one of these Hawaiian style three prongs. I'm really, really excited. I've been wanting to for a long time. I'm gonna look for maybe a couple really cool fish with it too. Maybe some goats, maybe some menpachi. We'll see, stick around. Thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode here. Obviously we're doing kole today, we're doing three prong, we're in Hawaii. But what I really, really wanna to talk to you about is this getting out of your comfort zone and how that makes you a better diver. Now we'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but this first one here, you can see, you probably recognize this spot from some of my last videos. I love this spot. Look at the amount of line. This is an Alua fishing spot, and you can see the damage that fishing can have on a spot, especially when a lot of people are going there over and over and over and casting in this way that the Alua fishermen do in the same way. Now, it's not their fault. Again, it's a difficult thing. You go out, you cast out, you get your line stuck in the rocks, what are you gonna do? Just something I wanted to point out to you guys. Maybe we need to do another video coming out here, cleaning up the reef. So this Hawaii style of kole hunting or three pronging was not easy. I kind of thought I've got a ton of experience in pole spearing all over the world. I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna crush it. It's gonna be no problem. But you can see that first shot. I hit him, but I didn't quite penetrate all the way. It just kind of popped off. Um, my gloves were not proper for this. You could see I just slipped right here. I didn't even mean to shoot. And it was slipping on the pole spear. There was definitely a pretty serious learning curve. I missed again right here. It was pretty shockingly difficult. Now, we started off really deep, and there weren't a lot of, it kind of freaked me out. We get in the water, and Justin's kind of like, hey, where are the cole? Because this was my spot, and he had told me for weeks, he's like, man, I really gotta go get some cole, and the, my side of the island, Hamakua, is too windy, so we can't get over there, and I'm like, man, I got a spot for you. And we go, and there's like no cole anywhere. So I was kind of freaking out. We're in the dirty water. You can see I'm kind of struggling. I got one there that was a nice one but we really just weren't seeing the numbers that we needed to see he's telling me yo i'm getting five six eight on a dive and i'm like okay i'm seeing maybe one decent one on every dive so uh so i don't really know what i'm doing wrong here but we started picking away at them one or two at a time i got a nice one here they were definitely a lot harder than i was expecting I wanna to talk to you a little bit about going out of your comfort zone. Maybe this is not that uncomfortable for me, but this is a very different style of hunting that I'm used to, a very different style of fishing, and it really makes you a better diver. I've spent years traveling all over the world. What's really special about that is I get to dive all these different environments, these different kind of situations. Every single one teaches me just a little something extra. One little tip you pick up here will help you next time when you're doing something else. The more you guys can do that, the better. And it doesn't have to be flying to Africa to hunt in some freshwater canal. It can be just go out with a three prong when you're not used to it. Borrow your buddy's gun when you know, you're know you not used to that gun. Maybe go out in conditions that were a little bit dirtier or a little bit rougher than you were used to. And that's really one of kind of like my pillars for becoming kind of a better spear fisherman. I've been watching these Benapachi for forever. I see all these Benapachi all the time and I don't have a three prong, so I haven't been able to shoot them. So I had this one today and I really wanted to get a couple. They all kind of live in this cave. That big one is some kind of squirrel fish or alihi. Um, you saw I lost one earlier, but I'm really, I really want to get a couple of these Benapachi. So you can see how they kind of hide in that cave and they just wait and they're kind of like darting in and out. It's just a timing thing. Got that one there, that was pretty cool. You can see how far up the spear they go. So again, one of those life lessons from Justin. At the end of the day, he was like, man, you're loading way too much. That's why your gloves are slipping. And I'm like, oh, I'm used to like my big heavy pole spear used to like 
you need a lot of power. I'm shooting big fish far away. And he's like, no, really light. You can see I slipped there again. He's like, really light, easy. Just let that pole spear go. And you're just kind of tapping these fish and getting them stuck to the end. So one of those tips you learn from Justin, again, something that I wouldn't necessarily have done. And now I have another skill to add to my three pronging next time I go out. That's just one of my pillars of how to be a better spearfisherman. It's just kind of do different stuff. I dive a lot of competitions. And what's crazy about these competitions is it makes you dive really weird places and really weird conditions. I mean, you dive in a, I've done multiple freshwater lakes where I just say, I would never go spearfishing in a lake. I would never try and shoot 70 carp in six hours. And I had to, and that taught me something new. And now you can use those skills over and over everywhere else in the world. So I just really wanted to get that point across here. I've got a couple more pillars of spearfishing we're going to talk about in later videos, um, but that's just one of the ones I feel I feel pretty confident about. We'll get back to the cole hunting here, but if you like this video so far, go ahead and smash that like button. I know this is not the big, beautiful, glory fish that I'm usually out there hunting, but this is just something different that I really wanted to show you. That'll work. I got this as smaller ones. I mean, I think it's two different species because the ones on the Hamakua side like one pound each. <laughs> Not like these. But those are fine too. Those are, those are great. They're delicious. <laughs> How do I kill it? Just poke your needle through the eye. As my hunting kind of got along here, I started figuring it out a little bit more and more. We moved up into kind of like with that, what you would call maybe the mid water column, you know, in that 40, 50 feet of water. We started off in like 70, 80, because my normal, another one of my pillars, I was gonna save that for another video, but it's farther and deeper. And if you can't find fish, go a little farther. If you can't find them there, go a little deeper. And eventually, usually, you'll find what you're looking for. But that didn't work out for these cole. So, in fact, we ended up going further. I was like, Justin, let's swim down the shelf a ways, and let's see if we can't find them there. So that's what we did, probably a half mile swim or so, and we really started to encounter more and more fish. There's a lot of similarities to like most of your hunting styles. And for one, go to the bottom, be relaxed, wait. That's what I'm doing here. You can see I'm down there, I'm turning my head around, I'm trying to remain super calm and trying to see what comes over to me. You know, you think about kind of the reef as like you go down and all those fish live there and then I scared them on my way down. And then you wanna wait till they all kind of come back to their houses. And that's just kind of what I'm doing on 99% of my dives anywhere in the world, but definitely here in this Cole video. And um, you can see they kind of come in behind me and sometimes they got to spin. Again, my fins aren't moving and the way you spin, and I just kind of rotated there on my butt again. You've seen me do this technique before. Didn't work out for me there. Again, I tried to see how long I could, how far I could shoot and it did not work. But these same techniques work over and over and over, no matter what type of hunting you're doing or where you are. And that's just comes with experience. You know, the more that you practice, the more different situations you encounter, and the more skills you keep adding to your skill set. And uh, you see there's a Joe right there. I really wanted him, but he got away. I got two on that dive, which was pretty cool. I was feeling pretty confident. This is like midway through our diving now. I felt like, yeah, you know, I'm getting one, two on every dive. I'm checking holes. I'm looking to see what, what's kind of around. Um, and then I bumped into Justin a little later and I was like, whoa, I've been doing it completely wrong. But um, again, I go for a third one here and miss him. But um, again, there's a lot more to this cole hunting than I was expecting. I thought I was gonna go out here and smash it. There's a lot of goats in this area. So I thought, man, I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna shoot a bunch of goats with uh, three prong. I was like, this is gonna be awesome. You can see these Moanacallis come in right here. And again, just a little bit too uncomfortable on the bottom, a little bit too much spear movement, and I spooked them and they were right out of there, gone. And um, so I was pretty sad about that because those were some of the only coles, those are some of the only monocolies I saw this day. And then again, I missed another one right here. So it was really, really wasn't easy. And then I moved into the shallows and I was like, oh, I found them here. These are, I started seeing much bigger coles, you know, in 15, 20 feet of water. And then I bumped into Justin and Justin had this stringer on his belt. And I was like, oh my God, where have you been going? What have you been doing? And so I only got one really cool video of Justin here. You can see 
Really light spear, really light touch. That one didn't quite penetrate all the way, unfortunately. But you can see how calm and relaxed he is. He's got his knees on the bottom, his, his stringer is next to him. Each and every fish, he's gonna place onto his stringer. So he's actually stringing each one as he's shooting, which eliminates you know the whole process of what do you do with the fish. I'm trying to hold in my hand. You got another one here, and you can see he's popping right there, popping that stringer through the eyes each and every time. And this was kind of mind blowing to me. I had never seen this technique before, but um, it was it was really humbling watching him hunt. And my GoPro died right there, unfortunately. But so so cool to see what you know someone who I consider is probably one of the best spearfishermen in the world. When we both go out with three prongs, what he could do. So on the way in, of course, my GoPro wasn't on because it was dead, but I had a teeny tiny bit of battery left to get this little snippet. I had this beautiful stone shot on this Joe, and that was my trophy of the day. Well, successful mission there. <laughs> my stringer, Justin Stringer. I think, uh, I think he's done this before. He made an incredible long dive bomb shot on that guy. I just got this guy just now on the pole spear. Awesome, awesome day. Definitely my first time with the Hawaiian three prong. Pretty sick. I challenge anybody, <laughs> anybody to a cola competition. Let's do it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I know that wasn't really our typical big fish shooting video, but I thought it was something you guys would enjoy. If you did, let me know in the comments below. These fish were so tasty. We had them at a big party with Justin's friends and family and it was just a really, really cool fish to be able to share with a bunch of people. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that now, and we'll see you next time on Ryan Myers Expeditions.